So sign painters uh, normally use the, the straight lower edge to strike a baseline, and it goes like this. Okay. Straight line, you don't have to um, align two points. Uh, HD. Okay. So here's, here's the height of my H, and as Kara was saying, the, don't have a dark background, really, but you can see that the, the bar of, of the H is now in its correct orientation. It's a little bit higher than center, and that's upside down. Okay. So I'm going to give myself a cap line. And the way I do this is I run my, my thumbnail along the bottom edge while I'm holding the pencil on the, the top of the stick, and I'm moving my weight transferring my weight from my front foot to my back. And it's all one continuous motion. And when you have a large sign shop with, with um, four by eights set up for a bench, you can just keep stacking up all day, like those production pinstripers do on, on long, long old Cadillacs and so forth. So, um, <clears throat> we're gonna do a, a cut in letter. layout. Okay. And then this space here, whatever that is, needs to be decreased ever so slightly to accommodate the D. And the reason again is that this takes up, eats away at the negative area. Now the D does not have overshoot, so that's going to make my job quite easy. I don't have to lift the brush. And this is the brush that we're going to be using tomorrow. Okay, this is a, a Blick um, Golden Taclon, it's called. And it's a synthetic. And is it Blick, you mean Mac? Oh, I'm sorry, Mac. Thank you, <laughs> thank you for that correction. Um, a combination of water and paint needed and I make the paint real soupy on the palette card. Like this. Once I get the, the brush loaded, I wanna I wanna change the orientation. I'll show you why. To pull a long stroke it, it helps to have the brush not only overloaded, but especially overloaded with dilute paint. So I, I mop up as much of the liquid as I can off the card, and then I hold the brush like this. So the paint is going back toward the ferrule. The ferrule is the metal part. And then Now, um, <clears throat> I, can, I can do the interior parts of the H if I want to toward, with horizontal orientation, but I have to get some of the paint out of the brush because I don't need to make a long stroke. So to do that, I go like this. It's a thinner stroke, and I can do the same on the interior of the D, but less paint in the brush. Now, to finish it off, it really helps to, to change the orientation of the card. So I want to work down here so you can see it and, and that I don't block out Silver's uh, video cam. So I'm going to change the orientation here. <clears throat> like so. And then I'm going to continue with all of the strokes that go horizontally now. Now the outer strokes need more paint in the brush. The inner strokes, inner contours, not so. 
So do the outers first. Okay, then less paint in the brush to finish off the interiors. And the, the angles, you get movement here. Okay. All right, come up, come around this side so you can see. Gotta love the wheels. Yeah. Don't worry about making a real sharp corner there. You can get away with murder on this stuff if you get your straights right. Okay, and then the, the rest is, is finished off by hand. And, and here I'm using my left hand to support my right, and I'll explain more about that tomorrow. You don't have to do it. For, for the sake of this workshop, two-day workshop, um, I'm not going to be teaching too much about brush mechanics. It just isn't time to cover all the bases. It's, it's more, this workshop is really more about um, letter form and letter spacing. So sharpen that up. And then you can use the full width of the brush to fill the counters. See how I'm using the chisel edge? A much wider stroke, correct? And this is the way the old wall signs were done. This is, is the way that uh, wood type was cut. Paint. Need a little bit more water. Reload the palette card. Okay, here we go. And that's what we want. You fill with as few strokes as possible. So by getting the brush to its full width, you can improve efficiency. Finishing off is pretty easy. You just need to get close to the, the edge of the letter. But don't, don't uh, ruin your, your previous work. It was already perfect. Okay, you see how that goes? Right. So there are no curves in this. Curves take time. They're hard to control. And once you make a, a little mistake, it's like, Barber takes off too much on one side to make it symmetrical. He has to take, oops, a little too much there. <laughs> Pretty soon, <laughs> you know. Ah, but you sell for a shaved head. 